getting 80 metres from a 40 metre dipole. If you've only got a small yard, you'll often need to make a compromise in order to get 80 metres operating. Shown here is an ordinary 40 metre dipole. It is fed in the centre with coax in an inverted V configuration. There is a tall central mast and smaller masts to the side supporting the ends. To get 80 metres you need to add a loading coil to each end. This comprises about 115 turns of insulated plastic wire. It is about 2 millimetres in diameter, including the insulation. This is wound on a piece of plastic tubing about 280 millimetres long and 40 metres in diameter. The winding is close round. The wire dangling from the tube is about 150 centimetres long. You may need to adjust the length to resonate it on 80 metres. The performance won't be as good as a full-size dipole for 80 metres. Also, its bandwidth will be narrow. It might only be 4 kilohertz. To compensate for this, you might need to use an antenna tuning unit near the transceiver if you want to operate it across the whole of the 80 meter band. There will be some additional loss, but it should be quite small. Because the 80 meter coil and wire droop straight down, the horizontal space required for this antenna is no more than for just a 40 meter dipole on its own. And the loading coil is easier to build than a trap. Details appear on VK5AH's website. I built it as per his description and the resonant frequency turned out to be about 3.570 MHz first up with no further adjustments required. Therefore I highly recommend his design as a way of making a 40 meter dipole work on 80 meters and getting 80 metre coverage from a small yard.